Like, well, you signed up for this. No. Is your frustration with them because you care about this art form so Dude, much? Dude, I love this art form so much, bro. And there's so many niggas out right now that aren't musicians that are getting treated like musicians because they make meme records. It publicly will be like, I don't give a fuck about music. I just do this shit for money. Like, <laughs> it's a Spider-Man meme of, like, the next nigga. When every publication is like, hell yeah, let's put that out. Now you taking up space for niggas like me. So... I understand what he's talking about. I get the frustration with seeing artists that don't really care about the music and are only in it for the money per se. But I, I do think there are different journeys. There's different paths, there's different places, different positions, different reasons why people get into music. And I think the reasons are what they are. The end result is anything that matters really. Do the fans like the music, yes or no? But I think they all serve a purpose. I think you're meant to look at you're meant to look at someone like Tyler if you're an artist coming up and you're meant to be inspired by his like unrelenting, you know, pursuit to present music and the thing that he does in a particular way. You are going to, you know, you're going to maybe look up to how he approaches instrumentation, songwriting, composition, the whole shebang. You should appreciate that for what he does. But it doesn't mean because you appreciate what he does in that way that it's going to work necessarily for you. Or that you can't appreciate somebody who's just in it for the quick lick, but also in the process of doing that, is able to make some rec great records that you're a big fan of. I think they all have their place. And the reason why I say this is because I remember seeing this clip that features Sexy Red talking a little bit about the same thing. And I felt like what Sexy Red said was probably the most concerning thing because it sounded like she was in a rush to just make loads of money. That's the issue that I have that way. I don't mind people coming in just to make the money and do the music, but it sounded like Sexy Red, what she said here, she's only in it specifically to kind of stack up the money and then once that's done you know take it off the pedal and don't give a fuck anymore which obviously i feel like hurts the fans mostly your female artist girl of all time nikki yeah she been in this game 10 have it been 10 plus years or just 10 years nah probably like 15 at this point see what i'm saying yeah, that's yeah. goals that's how i want to be and she's still getting money still driving nice cars fancy clothes i ain't trying to go broke I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be homeless. You know? And I personally think that's the wrong way to think about things. Going into making music thinking, I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be homeless. Because I don't think the person that she looks up to in Nicki Minaj has had that be her goal. I think that person like that, or a, a level of artist like a Nicki Minaj, has been making great music consistently for like, you know, more than maybe two decades. Surprising and delighting fans always being at the top of her game. And that is what has inevitably led to the hundreds of millions of dollars that she's making. You don't go on a tour that she's going on now with Pink Friday 2 tour, or the Pink Friday 2, I think it's just called Pink Friday tour. You don't go on that tour without having an incredible body of work, without having a discography that really doesn't need to be argued with. And you only get a discography like that by really loving the game, really loving the process, wanting to excite your fans, wanting to say something, get whatever getting your sound out there whatever it may be but i don't think it starts from just wanting to hit a lick if you want to hit a lick that kind of hit a lick music you hear it you know what it sounds like it comes and goes but i don't think you can stay in the game for 20 plus years if your heart's not in it in it you know and if you're not in it for the wrong reasons but i also understand having watched this clip if you're someone like a tired of creator why it would trigger you because you're in it for the artistry you're in it for you know being regarded as one of the best you want when all is said and done to people to remember you for making amazing great music that touch people in all sorts of ways which is true but i still think there's a path for everybody and nothing is right or wrong that's what i'd say in this regard i don't think nothing is right or wrong there's a path for everybody there's a path for everybody but again what do i know absolutely nothing that's what i know absolutely nothing